Good kick right in front of the goal, and it's in. Senior, Chloe Kumankowski. Senior, Ella Malika. Senior, Kylie Evans. Senior, Sarah McAllister. And Senior, Grace Mathis. The Moon Tigers are coached by Keith Little. And now for your Peters Township Lady Indians. The Lady Indians come into tonight's matchup match with a second record of four wins and zero losses, and an overall record of six wins and zero losses. The starting lineup for your Lady Indians. Number eight, freshman, Brooke Offerman. Number nine, freshman, Lexi Carrasco. Number four, sophomore, Jillian Marvin. Number 21, sophomore, Cece Scott. Number 29, sophomore, Casey Breyer. Your goalkeeper, double zero, so, uh, junior, Emma Sawyer. Number 26, junior, Sarah Heisinger. Number 16, senior, Kayla McFerrin. Number 10, Senior, Rachel Raver. One of your captains, number 24, Senior, Mia Genpa. Your other captain, number 15, Senior, Anna Stuck. The Lady Indians are coached by Pat Barrett, assisted by Dave Molesey, Brendan Albright, and Elizabeth Webb. All right, well, welcome to Peters Township High School for uh, tonight's section match between uh, Peters Township Lady Indians and the Moon Lady Tigers. This is uh, John Cantwell here along with Al Lopez to call tonight's game. Okay, good evening, John. Two undefeated teams going at it here, uh, undefeated in section and undefeated overall. Peters comes in with a 6-0 and record overall, 4-0 and in the section and uh, Moon is 5-0 and overall and 4-0 and in the section. Yeah, I think uh, Moon came here a similar time last year with uh, similar high hopes. I think similar records as well. I think it was dubbed as, uh, you know, for the section lead that evening and uh, Indians came out and jumped uh, all over them. It was 4 nothing by halftime if I remember that game. And uh, we had the fortune of the Moon coaching staff being in front of us. They were not very happy with uh, – their team's place. We'll see if the Lady Indians can come out and give a similar performance here in the first half and, and take control of this game. Yeah, that's right, John. That uh, that game was last year at, at Peters, the second matchup, uh, and in the in the first matchup early in the season, Moon knocked Peters off, which I think sort of served notice for everybody that Moon was coming into Quad A for the first time and that they were going to be a team to be reckoned with. Uh, and then when when Peters Got them the second time around and, and really played a phenomenal game. Uh, and I think it ended up five or six to zero. Yeah. Um, you know, that was that was really something. And I think everybody took notice of that. Yeah, good point. I did have those games uh, backwards. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, Moon was sitting in second place at that time. And they went on a little bit of a, a tough stretch there. Uh, 
didn't finish out the season, but they still made the playoffs for being up their first year in, in Quad A, which you know certainly impressive. They they barely make it over the enrollment line, so they're definitely they're playing a bigger school every night. Uh, but you know they no one was going to feel bad for them. They'd come off a couple of pretty good runs in no. AAA to the to the state final and yeah, that's uh, right. with a championship in no, there. So no question about it. I've heard uh, speculation or, or maybe it's fact, but uh, I have heard that Moon will be returning to the AAA. Uh, league at either next year or the year after that, so that'll okay. be interesting. Yeah, the classifications uh, change next year. The enrollment reports are due uh, in, about a, in about a month, so uh, yeah, we could see some changes uh, to the schedule next year. So okay. here we go. Uh, Peters with possession here, early start of the game. Oh. Boy, Sarah Heislinger took a, took a shot there, coming back to the ball, winning it, and uh, player fouled her, so looks like Peters is going to take the restart. Rachel Raber. Moon's got a high line here, John. Uh, ball's put on goal and handled by the Moon keep Keeper. That's uh, Babel in goal here this evening for the Moon Tigers. That's Alasia Babel, and she was not a goalkeeper at the beginning of the year. She uh, <laughs> Played significant time last year for Moon at an outside back. Wow. But uh, because of injuries, they, they needed to <laughs> look for somebody to play goal, and, and uh, she was game. Such an important position. you gotta, you got to be strong there. So sometimes you do have to just put an athlete in goal and hope uh, he or she can do the best for you. So it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see if Peters can, can test her. That looked like an early ball into the box. See how she handled the uh, direct ball. She seemed pretty comfortable coming off her line. Yeah, she did. She handled it well. Ooh, oh. Misplay by the center back for Moon there. Yeah, looks like we're going to get a corner out of this. You're right, an early mistake there by Moon. Almost uh, let Peters get in. They, they were in 2v1 there. It just looked like we couldn't, uh, couldn't collect the ball. Yeah, bouncing ball over the uh, Moon center back who overcommitted there. You have to think, John, that, that Moon's going to come out here and, and really try to play physically with Peters. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to see him play. I asked the referees before the game if they had seen them play, and uh, they, they both commented on that. They had seen them a few times, and they were both very physical. Well, a shot by it looked like uh, – Casey Breyer or CC Scott, right over. Yeah, there. I think it was Breyer. Good, yeah. good turn and a shot with the left foot that she favors and strikes the ball with so well. Looked like it caught the, the football goalpost above, but a, a very good look early on. I was saying both refs thought the, they play physical and said they were going to let the let the girls play here tonight. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully it'll stay within the uh, <laughs> within the rules. Exactly. CC Scott, sophomore for Peters there. Looking for Briar. Moon defender Mia Shaver was able to head that out. I like Peters energy this early, John. There's a lot of talk out there. Yeah, good pressure on the ball. Well done by Rachel Raber, dropping it to Perasco. Peter's looking in case he collects the ball, and she finds Sarah Heisinger through on the chase. Well, a good play by the Moon defender there to cut her off. Yeah, and, she uh, showed keep good possession. speed there. And Moon's going to get out. So definitely look like Peter early on, or they're going to, they are going to try to attack here over the top and get the Moon defenders to turn and chase. We'll see if it wears on them. They've already caught them once, right, with a bouncing ball over absolutely, top. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Rachel Raber with the clear looking forward for Sarah Heisinger, but Moon gets possession. Good play by Casey Breyer to take that ball over to Marvin. Good ball by Marvin to Heisinger there. Ball. Almost connected, John. Yeah, good diagonal run by Sarah, and uh, Jillian found her feet, just got away from her there. So found a good seam there between the back line. Well, Moon's got some 
ball winners in the center of the park, John. They look like they're going to be a lot to deal with in the air. Uh, yeah. Well, and I, as I recall from the game that Moon beat Peters uh, in last year, I believe that was a two-to-one score, and uh, both of the Moon goals were off of corner kicks. So yeah, something to keep in mind here. Yeah, they definitely got some size there in the center mid. Uh, Chloe Kuminsakoski. I probably just butchered her last name. Hope her family's not watching here. Um, definitely got some height. She's won three or four balls already in the middle. So we'll see how Peters adjusts. I mean, there are two opportunities so far have come from the ball on the floor, not on, the, not in the air. Um, so just take it away from Moon's strength there. So we got a Peters throw. Pressure by uh, Casey Breyer there on the left. McFerrin looking for. Sarah up top again. CC intercepts it. Good square ball there. Hannah looking to find Casey. Ball settles down here to Moon. That just gets away. Well done by Hannah to shield that off, and Raybert takes it forward. Unable to connect with Marvin. Yeah. The the pace is very fast right now. The decisions, balls. So it'll be interesting to see how this game slows in about five minutes once uh, once the energy dies down a little bit. Not yeah. that the girls will be tired. They'll just that nervous energy will burn off a little bit, and they'll they'll start to play their game. I don't I don't think we're seeing either team's planned uh, attack here right now. No, I'm sure you're I'm sure you're right about that. I think both teams will settle in here. This is a wider field than Moon is used to playing on. Yeah, Sarah almost in again there. She's been pretty close there a couple times. She seems to have a little bit more pace than the two Moon center backs. I think if she can collect one of those balls, she might be into goal. She does. She definitely looks like a threat. There's Mia Gentile getting involved for the first time. Oh, good little combination play by Moon. Oh, we got her for offside there, John. Um, didn't it didn't look like an offside play to me, but we don't have the angle. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of challenging when you play the ball. And it, unless you call the initial player number 18 offside, it's hard to be offside on that uh, give and go. But uh, as home fans, we'll we'll take that call. We'll take it. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we don't get it against us in the second half. That's when, right. Uh, and that, John, that was really the first time that we'd seen Moon be able to string a couple passes together there yep. uh, going forward. And they um, they were able to create a little look there. Let's go There's Marvin. Marvin through right through the center backs again. It feels like that's an advantage here for us. Well, Marvin got a good left-footed shot I off there. See uh, if it's a, a corner or a goal kick. I think it's a goal kick. We're calling goal a sub kick. here. I thought the defender might have deflected that. Macy tracks into the game for looks like for Heisinger. We were on the far side of the field uh, away from the team's benches, so a little harder for us to sort out who's coming in and who's come out. CC Scott wins that one in the air, but uh, goes out of bounds for a moon throw. It's number seven for moon running through. Yeah, she looks, uh, she looks to be a dangerous player there. We're going to have to account for her this evening. Moon uh, driving up the left side there. Ball played down the line. It's probably going to go out for a goal kick, though. And the Moon player takes a piece of the Peters defender there as the ball goes out, and referee gave her a little bit of an admonishment. I'm sure the referees are aware of the history and what's at stake here, so they will try to make sure everybody's playing soccer. Moon wins the ball, but um, Emma Sawich comes up to collect it and she'll punt it out for us to about the 50. CC Scott there challenging the, the punt. Yeah, we got a foul on mm. Julie Marvin. That looked Marvin quest 
just a little questionable there. I'm not sure, but look like maybe two just a little late. Ball. Maybe just a little late on the challenge, but a good, good aggressive challenge there by Jillian Marvin. Yeah. Yeah, good s service into our back line. I think it was Rachel Raver that got up to win that, and it goes out of bounds for a moon throw. Moon's starting to show a little bit of confidence here in the last couple minutes. They are. They are. We've seen the turn into a much more even game here territorially. And they definitely seem to like to go down the left flank. I don't know if that's something we're giving them or that's one of their tendencies. We haven't seen much come down the right side as the ball goes back down the left. No, you're Again, right. almost on cue, and uh, looks like it's going to go out. Oh, well, it's deflected, so it'll be a Peters throw. Quick throw, and again, another Peters throw. <laughs> a year ago, this is a set piece with Regan Lavinia throwing <laughs> the ball 50 <laughs> yards. <right. laughs> but and a lot of time spent waiting for Regan to get there, too. <laughs> um, you know, it, it kind of controlled the pace of the game in a way. That's right. You know, the big throw is such a part of the game. And it really not it's just, it used to be just at the high school level. You see it in the professional level now, too. Everyone's using it as a weapon. That's a that's a nice weapon to have, no question about it. A good flick on by Moon. Uh, got an elbow. No one seems to know who it's on, so <laughs> Moon gets it. Tough call against Peters there. Certainly looked like a fair challenge. Yeah, you can tell by the player's body language sometimes. There were 22 people in the field that weren't sure there was a foul. Not only did they not know it was a foul, which direction it was going. That's but right. That's right. Sometimes, uh, you know, as a player, the taller taller yeah. player gets punished. And I think we had a makeup call there, John. Yeah, I'm not sure what was called. Uh, Hard to say, but uh, I, in my book, that evens it out. <laughs> yeah, from the position, it looks like... Uh, May have been handling or something. I don't. The back line was dropped before, further than that. But who knows? We'll take it either way. Emma Sawwich drives it forward. Uh, here's number seven, a moon on the ball again, and uh, they're going left. They definitely seem to like to get the ball to the left side. And left back for Moon, looking to overlap over there. Oh, well, maybe a turnover Dangerous by ball. Moon. Marvin's yeah. going to win that. Oh. Oh, Tracks finds an open but offsides. Hannah stuck, I believe. Looks like they've moved Hannah up top. Yeah, it looks like they've dropped Macy Tracks into the midfield there. Yeah, Hannah got caught offsides when that ball from Jilly Marvin didn't get through. She was making the run in and, and just couldn't get back in established position. Brooke Offerman looking for Breyer. Good play by Moon defender Shaver. Ball played into Hannah. Oh, and Macy Tracks on the ball. That's a good ball by Tracks. Casey Breyer in possession down the left corner. Uh, she gets a throw in here for Peters Township. Yeah, good battle there. Well defended. Good play by Casey. A couple substitutions coming in. Looks like our two wing players. So we got a new right and left forward coming yep. into the game. Maddie Schweiger going on the left side and Chloe Trapanato on the right. Maybe a chance for Offerman here. A oh, good hit by uh, Brooke from about 30 yards out. Uh, well struck. Uh, Moonkeeper looked comfortable there. She just she moved to her left. and She did. She got across there really well. A bouncing ball here. Neither team can get possession of, and Peters comes up with it. Ball looks like it's out of play. We're uh, 14 minutes in here to the game. Pretty even game here so far. Probably slightly more dangerous Peters Township team. They've had a few more opportunities than uh, than Moon. Yeah, I think their chances have been more dangerous. But, um, you know, relatively even game here. Yeah. It's a great tackle by the Moon defender. 
They are back down the left side. A uh, good win by Mia Gentile. Well, I can't see the number of the Moon player on the left flank there, John, but she does she does have some speed. There's no question about that. Yeah, it looks like number two, maybe Lizzie Hoff. Lizzie Hoff. Moon has not made any substitutions yet. Good win by Trapanato. The ball fly, falls to Macy Trax. Schweiger going against Mia Shaver. Schweiger yeah. wins a throw for the Indians. Yeah, Moon's got a full bench there, but you're right. No, we haven't seen anyone come off the bench for them yet. It's a warm and night. It's going to be tough for these girls to... On, on cue, looks like Haley Longwell is going to check in for Moon. Longwell, number number one. Number one. She's a freshman for Moon that has Ooh. done a, a, quite a bit of scoring for the Tigers this year. Maddie Schweiger called offside there. Where, where do you uh, where do you expect that she's gonna she's gonna play for them? I think er early in the games, uh, Longwell has been out on the flank, and then eventually she's moved into the middle. Now, since she did not start this game, John, she we may see her go into the middle right away. Uh, first uh, good ball by Shaver. Moon in on the right side there. A little heard a little give and go. Moon back in possession. Ball played through by 18. Uh, Moon. That's Sarah McAllister. 18 for Moon as we try to learn some names. Good pressure by Moon there. <laughs> Gets them a deep throw in. We got actually two subs coming in here for. Looks like we got. Uh, Change in the back line for them. Looks like they're moving somebody from the midfield in, into the back. Kayla Lessick. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, Kylie Evans moved into the back. Looks like Longwell is playing an offensive center mid. There she is now. Unable to corral it now for a goal <laughs> kick for Indians. Tough first touch off the bench to have a, <laughs> have a ball drilled into your knees. <laughs> Not surprisingly, that ball got away from her. The Indians were marked up very well there inside their own 18. Yeah, on cue, Longwell wins that ball. John, yeah. this is probably a little closer to Moon's regular lineup here. With Longwell yeah. in the midfield and Evans dropping to the back. See if this changes their point of attack here. Everything's been down the left side for them so far. Well, on cue, they try to get a ball down the right. Good win by well, Kayla McFerrin. Well done by Kayla McFerrin there. Stepped in and found that ball. Macy. That's a good run by Trax from Schwager. Yeah. Just ball too just heavy of a touch there for Macy, but a great run. Good look by Maddie. Moon in possession. Big ball, great ball Long over top. Long ball over top. Dangerous ball. Uh, Gentile will safely clear it there. Mia always seems to be in the right spot. <laughs> Absolutely, she, she does. She cleans up a lot for uh, Lady Indians back there she at times. She sure does. Great defensive instincts. Yeah. Her angles are very good. She's very safe with the ball. <laughs> so everything you'd want in the back line player. No question. Good play by Kayla again. Another throw in for Moon. Throw into the box. Uh, good. No ball played in. Uh, good oh, great read by Sawich there. That was one of those balls, John, right in the middle. Yep. That, uh, you know, if there's any indecision on the part of the defense, often it's the offensive player that pounces on it. 
Yeah, great step there by Emma, and you know, great position by Mia Gentile, right on the inside of the left forward. Anyhow, even if that ball had got through, she was in the she was in the right spot to potentially clean that up. So, boy, Hannah Stuck took a took a bump there. Yeah. Uh, surprised a foul wasn't called. Clearly, bumped her off the ball, and then the Moon defender was able to come forward with it. Longwell carrying the ball there. Up Peters gets possession. It's a good ball by Offerman finding Trapanato. There's Longwell. She's very strong yeah. player, John. She does does not seem to get pushed off the ball very often. Oh, a little surprised she gave the ball up there. She had space to. She gotten through the Indians midfield there, but fortunately for us, she gave the ball up. So we're about halfway through the first half. We still have zeros. I think we really only have one shot on goal that came from uh, from Brooke Offerman. Yeah, I think that's right. So as much of this game's been played in the midfield here so far. It's number seven from Moon again, running forward. She's got good size, comes comes forward hard. That's Chloe Kumankoski. I think you did better with that name than I did. She's got to have conviction when you say it, <laughs> even if you're dead wrong. Oh, a couple subs back in for Lady Indians. Looks like Heisinger. And Marvin coming and back Marvin in. And Marvin back in, okay. Hannah will drop into the midfield. Tracks and Trapanato out, I believe. Well, you can feel that the energy has dropped a little bit on the field. This, you know, you couldn't maintain the <laughs> the pace that the first five minutes was being yeah, no played question, at. No question about it. Yeah, just emotionally, you can't play like that. And Moon down the right side for the first time. Peters clears Moon back in possession. That was Maria Swen for Moon into the game. Marvin converging on the defender there. Uh, we got a Peters Township throw. Not much movement there for Kayla to work with, John. <laughs> no, <laughs> they were all waiting, just a lot of standing there. So, the long well back on the ball from Moon. Uh, Turned by Jillian Marvin there, played away by the Moon defender, but it'll be a throw in for Peters. It was Bella Malika on the mark there. Yeah, Moon comes away with possession. Good step by Rachel Raber to get in the line with that. Peters is in, that looks like Sarah Heisinger. Good step by the Moon defender. It looks like number 24. Lena Oka Olk. or Oki. Wow. And a stock plays that ball through Jillian. And she'll get there and looks like she drew a corner for yep, us. She did. She did. That's what she intended to do, and that's what and she was able to accomplish here. So, you know, games like this, John, often it's set pieces where the goals come from. It looks like it's actually going to be a throw in there. Uh, not sure why the hmm. official on the line there was overruled by the official in the center, but also not sure why I'm surprised. <laughs> I, I don't think you should be. <laughs> we're lucky it was just still our throw in, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to take it. Uh, Moon coming through. They found some space yeah. here in the midfield. Moon's got some players coming forward here. Uh, good tracking back by Maddie Schweiger. Oh, Longwell uh, she's steps around now. one. Good cut, uh, good strike on goal. Good rip but by Longwell, but Sawich had the had the position played perfectly there. Didn't give her much to shoot from, but that's that's what Longwell can bring to this game for Moon. Yeah, I thought at least twice she was going to play the ball wide, but we got a foul on Moon there think, at midfield. Uh, clearly, she has the green light to look for her shot from J.R. Little, Moon's coach. 
after seeing a play like that, no surprise. So, yeah, we're going to have to. Probably not a bad idea. We're going to have to slow her down, and otherwise, <coughs> soon we're going to have three or four defenders stepping to her, and she will play that ball wide, and uh, we'll be in big trouble. So, so tempting to try to win the ball. She got a couple, passed a couple of lady Indians there trying to win the ball, or all they really need to do is just slow her down and let people get in behind. Yeah, looked but like they were maybe a little taken by surprise by the speed. Probably trying to figure out how a player of that caliber didn't start. <laughs> <laughs> so they they aware of her now though. She's checked in and certainly uh, made her presence known. So we got a Peter's throw. Looks like Moon's got a couple subs waiting to come in. It's cooled off a bit. A couple hours ago, I wouldn't you wouldn't have thought this would have been a pretty humid night, but no, it's pretty comfortable evening here to play now. Not not a bad night to play. 15 minutes left in the half here. Pretty much what uh, I, I guess what we would have expected, John. Two top teams in the Whippeals sort of feeling each other out and trading chances, but most of it, most most of the action happening in the midfield. Coming into the game for Moon. I think if your moon probably getting to halftime zero zero would be a victory. Just kind of on the road. Yeah, absolutely. Given their last, you know, experience here of last year, I, I think I think Coach Little would take that. Here comes Moon through the midfield again. Here comes Chloe. Chloe, number seven for Moon in possession. Finds the right back. Oh, ball gets away from her. A little Gianna challenging Nicotelli. for the Moon midfielders. They got four players running away from the ball, just looking for a ball over top. Yeah, there's really no help for either either player there. It's kind of everybody looking for a ball through. It's Nucatelli there yeah. again. Yeah, ball played again, over, attempted to play over top. Now Moon steps and wins. Ah, good read by Mia stepping. John Peters is doing a good job of dealing with the direct balls that Moon's trying to play up top. The more difficult ones are coming through the midfield. Yeah. Our struggle right now seems to be we're winning that ball, but. That's a very ambitious <laughs> effort there by <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, we're winning the ball, but we're not, uh, we're not retaining possession. We're tending to give it right back to Moon. If we can, you know, we got a, definitely a push in the back there. An easy call to make. Hands in the back. I think we'll see Raber uh, serve this one. And Moon, Moon has that high line at the 20-yard yeah. line, which is that means that's 30 yards out. That surprises me, John. Uh, just well, gives more time to run on. And Peters was almost able to do that. CC yeah. Scott got to that first, and it looked like it was – Deflected out for a for a corner kick. Yeah, a little surprising to play the high line and then the keeper though is still you know, maybe three yards off the goal line. You usually try yeah. to con condense that space if you want it to be tough to play into. At least have the keeper out, just penalty just kick <laughs> mark. You know to be able to come out and get that ball at the top of the 18. I, I think she's if she's out. She might have got that ball, but well, instead good we get a kick, corner. But uh, again, Moon really doing a nice job winning these corner kicks, um, sort of with authority. I'd like to see Peters in the second half come out and really challenge, you know, as you mentioned earlier, that the keeper is a, a you know, converted field player. You know, put him right on her on the corner. I see how she handles the traffic coming I in agree. at her. I agree. It's one thing to use your hands when no one's around, but, you know, if you get That's bumped, right. getting bumped low, let's see what happens. And you've got a lot of players running at you, so maybe a halftime adjustment for us. That's right. Although I think both of the, both of the Peters corners have been out swingers. So maybe we'll get an in swinger that we can swing in on. Yeah, we, we got another one. Let's see if Kayla he, McFerrin heads over. She yep. does. So here comes our left footed corner kick. Coach Varib calling for the in swinger. Peter's got about six runners. Sanding on about the PK mark. Let's and see how they disperse here. Moon's got almost everybody back, 10 back. A lot at the front post. Another great win by Moon in the yep. air. They've been very good on. 
May see Peters switch one up and try to drive a low ball in. And I don't know, offsides. Yeah, Scott not able to make it back onside there. And Moon, Moon's back line is doing a good job of pushing up, John. When they when they do clear the ball, they're they're not messing around. They're they're getting out and making the uh, they are Peters players follow them. Yeah, we're struggling to get that second ball back in there. We're, we're going to have to, in the second half, push the ball wide, let our players reestablish their onside position, and, and then we can knock it back over top. This is, there we go, the keeper coming out to get this ball. Oh, she knocks it into the parking lot. Yep. I hope that didn't hit my car. <laughs> Another throw in here for Peters. We're, we got under 10. We got a couple subs coming into the game. Looks like Moon is moving Chloe up top here, John. That's interesting if they're yeah. possibly going to try to find her behind the defense. Another throw in for Peter. Jillian Marvin did well to get a cross off there in the corner. Here's Jillian again. Battling Ulke there, I think. Another Peters throw. Yeah, we got some differing opinions on the call or lack yeah. of call there. Peters faithful <laughs> seem to think there's a little extra contact there. We, we don't have the best angle, John, but it, from yeah. my perspective, it didn't look like something yeah. you'd call in the box anyway. No, not on a 0-0 zero -zero game. Well, you hope the officials make the same calls regardless of the score. We know the truth. They're not going to make that call to – in a tight game like this. Here's Marvin again. And that should be a corner kick, John. <laughs> That's, we'll see. Pierce. And uh, it is. McFerrin's not gonna take this one. This will be Offerman. Yes. Switching up, we're trying a lot of different things here on the corner, so I'm guessing coaching staff's not happy with what we've had here so far. We'll see if Brooke can give us a good delivery. They've all fallen pretty much right in the middle, and Moon is just headed out. Looks the same spot yep, there again. They're all good balls, but the yeah. uh, well, yeah. it seems like that's the same player. <laughs> it sure does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> watch her until I see what her number is, John. I think it's so 32, now. right? Or maybe not. Maybe she's right there on the ball. It's hard to tell. Uh, I, I think, think it might be six. 16. Kylie Evans. I think she's won every corner. <laughs> yeah, and and she's the uh, she started in the center midfield, and then when Longwell came on, they moved her to the back. I think she's but she's back. been winning those balls yeah. on every set piece. She's back in the midfield now. I think that's what uh, pushed uh, Chloe Kumakowski out wide. So okay. She's moved back forward. They brought in the center back that started the game. So maybe, maybe this is their regular lineup here. Chloe, who we saw on the ball so much on the right side, I mean, perhaps they'll change their attack with her out there. She may not see the ball a whole lot, which could be good for us. It's been mostly central and left-sided play for uh, for Moon. Moon on the throw in. Oh, good turn That's by Moon. Great turn. Here we go. We might get the ball right. Oh. And she gets the ball, looking for Longwell here. Oh, good Another step. great play by Sawich. Really read that well. She came out, used her body to block the goal, even if she didn't get it cleanly. But she did. She did. Her decision making has been spot on today. Any hesitation, and and both of those chances for Moon would have been uh, yeah. high quality. Right. Yeah. Not to be lost in that. It was a good little uh, build up there by by Moon it to was. get in behind the back line. Knocked out by Breyer there. Moon throw. Substitution for Moon. And 
Lizzie Hoff coming in for Moon and moving to the middle, and they're pushing Longwell out to the left. Well, I've only watched Moon for 35 minutes, but uh, it appears they're going to put their two best 1v1 players on the outside. So That's that could be either very dangerous uh, for uh, for them. <laughs> Yeah, we're very good for us if uh, they can't find them the the ball. That's so right. That's it's right. Either feast or famine, usually with that type of move. So we'll we'll see how it pays off. Uh. Yeah, both of their center midfielders for much of the game now up on the flanks. That is an interesting uh, interesting development. We could be giving this strategy too much credit. It could just be a way to <laughs> give them a breather as well and put them in a position that. Uh, Maybe uh, a little bit less demanding. Another that offsides could be. Call here yeah, tracks trying to trying to find Sarah there, but the uh, Moon defender had pulled up to try to make that play. So a little bit unlucky for the Indians. Yeah, the Moon high line has been very effective here against uh, you know Peters. You know, trying to drop that ball over the back line. They're 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 it stepping. We're just not releasing the ball soon enough. It is. Uh, you know, with playing a high line like that, it's a lot like playing a an. Offsides trap. It just takes once. That's right. To beat it. And then you've got a real quality chance. Here's Heisinger coming hard. Takes a good piece of Olke there. No no call. Comes over, takes the hit <laughs> to make a play. That's what Mike Lang always <laughs> says, right? Flick on there by Sarah. Moon wins it. Good win by Perasco. That's Evans coming forward there. Mia Shaver over on the other side. But great play to take it away from her by Hannah. Hannah Stock. Babel gets a ball she probably would rather not have there. <laughs> she does well with it. She does well with it. Oh, but, that's uh, the benefits of having a field player in goal there. Exactly right. The confidence right. to be on the ball there. Exactly right. Yeah. To take a take a second touch there was a little bit of a risk. Oh, Moon coming forward. Go. Great play by Mia Gentile to not let that ball get through. And now we're going the There's opposite another way. Ball through. Ball goes back to the Moon keeper again. Just plays it out. Starting to get some space here in the midfield now. Very <laughs> much, very much. You know, John, the Moon defensive line here, it's getting caught flat a couple times, way up top. Moon in possession here. Mm. Good read by Kayla. Moon still in possession here, looking through and yeah. Kayla drops there nicely to prevent the ball getting through. I feel like Moon has a lot of time on the ball when they have possession here. Uh, we got a tripping call. Yep. You know, it's a great call. It's one you don't see called often because the contact was so minimal, but it had the effect of the Peters player not being able to hit the ball. Yeah, Rachel Raber taking the direct kick here. Drives it forward, not to <laughs> Moon again in the air. Really been impressed with Moon in the air here. They they win almost. Not only they win balls, they win them cleanly. There's you know balls are going back forward in the direction. They they step well to the ball. They do. They're they're an excellent team, no question about it. Good pressure by Moon there, but uh, Peters has the ball. About 90 seconds to go here in the first half, and we're still scoreless. Kind of expect this as things are shaped up to be a three-horse race for the section between St. Clair, Moon, and Peters. That's a nice ball there to Breyer. McFerrin coming on the overlap. Just crosses oh, it. Oh, she swings it across a little far, but. Oh, Macy tracks almost. Uh, just unable to keep it in there. But anyway, John, I, I, I would think it's going to be a three-horse race. Uh, not to sell Cannon Mac short, but I think yeah. Moon, St. Clair, and Peters, you know, on any given night, anything could happen between those, those yeah. teams. 
Yeah, and if you're Peters, you got to win three of those four games against those teams. Um, they already got one with the St. Clair win. Tonight would go a long way. Tonight so, would be would be huge. Yeah, it would be huge. Pretty much assures you. Probably only got to win one of the two on the backside there because you can afford one loss because you've beaten the other two teams. So well, Emma saw which Sarge. outside the box there and then drop back in, collects the ball with her their hands. She's been very good off her line here tonight. Good win by Scott there. Another ball back to Babel and goal. Well, got the countdown here, and that is halftime. 0-0 zero, zero at half. We'll uh, be back to call the second half here uh, shortly. All right, we're uh, back here for the second half of the Lady Indians versus uh, the Moon Tigers. So, Al, if you're coaching Peters, what adjustments do you make here in the second half? Well, I'll tell you, John, I'd, I'd really look to try to capitalize on the offside trap that Moon is running. Um, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe get it, get somebody coming through from the center of the park. Maybe CC or Hannah running through and have the uh, have the high forwards, the nine check back, have high singer check back. I think that uh, you know that could catch them. Um, you know, serving long balls in the box is um, Moon has done really well with that. They've contended with those well, um, but I think Peters. You know, they've had, they've had some runs at them on the flanks as well. The moon looks like uh, back to a little bit of the starting lineup, but still a long way out on the left uh, for Moon. It looks like they've moved. And they put Chloe for them up top, maybe, or maybe she's coming back into the midfield here. So maybe not a lot of adjustments here by them. Got to throw in here for Peters, some early pressure. Looks like a new addition to the moon line up there up top, Ava Roma, number 10. Yeah, I don't recall her playing in the first half. So. I don't think she did. Interesting to see the role they ask uh, her to play here. I'm sure she's coming in with some specific instruction of something maybe they didn't feel they saw enough in the first half. Well, that ball took a weird bounce off the turf. Here it is played into her. A little bit of build up here for Peters. Yeah, Peters handled that well there. Oh, and I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Longwell looking to drop it back to Evans. Ball just blindly played in the middle there. CC Scott Boy. turns with the ball. Well done by Hannah Stuck there. Oh Ooh. boy. Like to see that one again, John. Yeah. Offside call on Breyer there, but um, I'd really have to see when that ball was played. Because I think the only reason Breyer ran behind was because the Moon player Completely Miss. misplayed that ball. That's right. Tough call to make. It looks like Coach Barrett sitting right on that line. He didn't seem to be very an animated, though, so perhaps he saw it differently. That's Would have thought he might have voiced his displeasure. Uh, uh, <laughs> or at least questioned a it. <laughs> strong possibility about that. I, pretty insightful by you, John. <laughs> Well, again, I feel like we gave the ball up too early there, right? The moon back line is is stepping. Uh, just like to see CC Scott just, you know, as they run, let, let them run by her and let her just carry it through the back line. I'd like to see a midfielder just carry the ball through their back line. Yeah, that's see what they do. That's something we haven't seen from, from Peters today. Um, Sub moon get one of their best chances by doing just that. Chloe wins that ball. Like Good play by Raber there to stop Longwell. Oh, good pressure oh, by, great Sarah. Win by Sarah. Sarah, see if she can find Jillian here. Great ball. There's Marvin. At a goal. And she scores. 
Great counterattack by the Indians there, John. It was well played. Good run by uh, Jillian to hold online. Yeah, Moon's a little surprised that she was still on sides there. Uh, it was definitely close, but... Yeah, I, I think, think Sarah got rid of the ball just uh, just in time. To me, it looked like she played it perfectly. Great first touch for Jillian, and uh, second touch, she made no mistake. Great finish. Beat Babel to her left, to Babel's left, Jillian's right. Well, that changes whatever tactics Moon had that accelerates their tactics here in the second yeah, half. They, now, cool. they are now chasing the game and need a goal to stay in it. So We'll see the game open up here, no, no doubt. They have a throw in here for, for Moon on the, our far side here. That's Shaver coming forward. Yeah. Sails over the goal. Coach Verb yelling for the Peters to step out. They did not step out there. They uh, pretty much held their held their line there. Yeah, Shaver came out of the back, and you know sometimes that's what you see when a defender's coming forward with the ball. The the defensive players are sort of hesitant to lose their mark or leave their mark. Oh, keeper. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not sure why Babel <laughs> tried to one touch that, John, but it almost ended up in the second goal there. Marvin almost. Sure did. Now she's. Tri oh, Jilly tried to get the get around the corner there. Yeah. Just wasn't able to. She's really putting good pressure on and causing some problems for Moon here. She is a little, you know, a little disappointing we didn't get the call there. The Moon defender is really using her arm to push Jillian off the ball. Clear. <laughs> You know, clear interference there in getting and to the that ball. That will be a physical matchup, no question about it. It's no obstruction. I think the center ref missed it. I think the ref on our side's watching the watching the play, uh, watching the ball go across the end line there. But uh, certainly looked like Moon was pushing her away, so she couldn't get the ball. But we don't no call there. Good play well by, by Gentile and Offerman there, and Marvin. Good pressure by Moon to win the ball back. Yeah, double team there. <laughs> Bella Malika there. I think she was trying to switch <laughs> that, cross that, and it uh, got away from right her. out of bounds. <laughs> Saw which here on the goal kick. Yep. About 34 minutes left in this one. Moon with the win in the air. Oh, no. Certainly getting a little bit more physical there on the inside there. No question. And mm. Longwall is going to get get caught with the call. Interesting, the, the center referee there, John, did not make the call, and he was walking forward like that was going to be a moon restart. I think the right call was made, though. That's a great read by Mia Gentile there to get to that ball first. Just beat Lizzie Hoff, who's who's shown some good speed for sure. Yeah, Moon switching up their forwards again there. They're looking for some matchup or some chemistry. Um, Hoff and Longwell switching sides there in the last stoppage. A good play by Marvin to run through that ball. And Moon Evans comes away with it. Cleans that up and finds a long wall with a long ball. Well, we got she a draws a foul there. What do you expect to see here, John? You think they're going to drop this one in and make Emma come play the ball? Well, we'll see. I mean, 16, right, for Moon. Kylie Evans has won every ball in the air. I, I would be worried about where she is right now. Peter's trying to get their line higher than it was. It's not really marked there. Oh, not, not a great ball. No, nah, sort of. Too flat of a ball there. Yeah. 
Well, the intensity has been ratcheted up, no question about it, uh, with the individual battles here, John. That's a good ball by Moon. I think that's going to run, though. And we got a goal kick for Peters. Yeah, missed opportunity probably for Moon there on that set piece. Got to get that in. Got to beat that first defender and get that ball into the box, and they and they didn't. Oops. Never want to underserve those, do you? Sir, certainly don't. Could actually lead to a counterattack for the other team. That's the, probably the worst part of it. Not only do you not score, you could actually find yourself chasing the other way. Oh, good win by Jillian Marvin. Jillian and Sarah Heisinger running through the middle. That's a great first touch. Shaver trying to catch. Shaver does a great job to catch yeah. her. What good speed by Mia Shaver shown there. It looked like Sarah was by. Marvin trying to return the favor. And give Sarah an assist. And some substitutions for for Moon. Well, there's some kind of call there. Okay. Not sure why he didn't just let him play on. Looked like Moon had control of the ball there. Yeah, didn't see a foul there either, but. Oh, uh, there's that. I assume six, well, 16 is not even in the mix, so I don't think she's going to be the target there. She's about 40 yards from goal. Oh, that's the ball they needed uh, <laughs> on the, the service before there. Exactly. But good job by Peters to get it out. We got about 30 minutes to play. The ball girls getting some love there on the near side here. Is there doing a great job getting the ball back from the fans? Well, Moon looking to connect up top here. A lot of numbers back for Peters defending that. Yeah, ball oh, served into the box. Ball. Good ball. That's it's a over great top. Ball behind there. Great look by number 19. That's Nucatelli, Gianna Nucatelli, a junior. Oh, good service by her. She's now gonna be challenged to defend here, Macy Trax, yeah. coming down the right side. Macy Great cuts cut her back inside. Great cutback by Trax, see if she can. She found Scott. It's a wide uh, Schweiger. <laughs> Schweiger. And a shot on goal and uh, Babel makes that save pretty easily. Good build up by the Indians there. They should be getting some more of those counter attack type of chances. Yeah. Good win in the air. Oh, I don't agree with that call there, yeah. I think. Got oh. her over the back. I think I think the referee saw the, the moon player try to jump and when she tried to jump, she jumped into the Peters player and yeah, certainly I think that was Barasco. Certainly looked like she had position there. Did not look like a foul. Again, the shorter player getting the benefit of the doubt. The service by Moon. Uh, they try to flick it on, but it goes the wrong way. Fortunate. Good hustle by Heisinger there. And Moon continues to sort of cycle their girls around a little bit, John, trying to maybe trying to find some some magic, a combination somewhere. Yeah, they only need one, so. Marvin and Shaver battling. Shaver gets it up ahead. Yeah, Emma Sawwich off her line there. Yeah, well done. Well Rama done. looking to play Chloe in behind. And maybe that's what they're looking for from Rama, John, is her to play a 
to play a target and then play the wings through. Oh, uh, Trax is going to run onto this. Just take that first Shaver. touch in. Oh, she cuts, cuts her with left foot. Mm. With well, a left footed shot from Trax, that would have been interesting if that had not gotten blocked. I think it was center back uh, Rhea Singh who came over and got a piece of that. So oh, good ball oh, by Roma there. Oh. Good play by McFerrin, sliding tackle away from Chloe, but not out. Good step. I think that's, that's Rachel Raber. I think that's Raber. Over. She knocked up, banged up a little bit on the play, but yeah, she'll, she definitely she'll took a shot there. Great, great play. Great help defense, if you will. Ah, uh, here we go. I think the. Official. Both teams looking at each other. They have absolutely no idea. Someone's about to get a card, but both coaching staffs are confused. Is somebody going to get a stern talking to here, John? Well, perhaps. And that was it, just a stern talking to. So we had a stop and play. We stopped the clock. And, uh, well, I, I'm glad he got that off his chest, whatever that was. Must have been bugging him. I don't know. If I'm an official, if I go that far, I'm probably uh, <laughs> probably giving a card. <laughs> <laughs> he made me walk that far for no reason. So. And the clock is stopped for the uh, time being here. Looks like he got a, a Peter's injury. I think that's Rachel Raber who still has, not sure what happened to her. Well, she came out to make that tackle, so yeah. we started to take a hit. Don't know what it was. You know, the back line for Peters doesn't, uh, rarely make subs, so I'm not really sure who's going to come into the back line here. Looks like it might be Trapanato uh, I think it in. is Trapanato. See how they reconfigure the defense. My, my guess is we might see CC Scott drop into the back line, given we're sitting on a lead. That would be my guess. And it looks like that is what's happening. So Chloe will come in and play in the center mid. CC Scott will go to the center back. I'm also fortunate to have depth. <laughs> a lot of teams. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't be as simple to make a couple of moves to replace your center back going off the No field. question about it. No question about it. Peters certainly has one of the deepest teams in the WPIAL. We've got a little over 26 minutes to play. Peters still leading 1 0. And good win by Moon. All right. Well, McFerrin's. Had to use her significant pace a couple times here. Yeah, She's done so really well, box. John. Well, that ball came off of Sawwich's chest, but uh, teammates there to help her uh, get out of trouble there. And well, that's Peter's throw there. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like Peter's dribbled out of bounds, but must have went off a moon player. Uh, good call by the official there. The Moon player not playing the ball, really clearing out the the defender. So Peters will get a set piece. And it's usually Raber that takes these restarts. She's over on the bench getting checked out. Let's see if we see her back here in this game. Continue to be impressed by Moon in the air. I mean, they win every ball they cleanly really in the air. They really do. And, you know, it's more than just one player. They've got two or three who can really get up and battle. Yeah, it's the pace they put behind the balls. That's right. Oh, well, unfortunate bounce for Peters there. Moon keeps possession. Shaver looking to go forward. 
know, Scott comes out. Longwell battling three Indians there. Oh, and did not, she win oh, a corner? She a, did. Wow. She did. A little surprising. That didn't look like it took a deflection there, but no complaint by Scott, so she must have gotten a piece of that. The other official was on the end line, pointed to the corner as well. John, I think this is the first corner kick for Moon. I think you're right. Definitely not had one in the second half. I don't remember one in the first half. And again. I would be worried about number 16. I don't know where she is, but she has she has won every corner for them. <laughs> no Defend, question. Defending. No so question about it. See how she, I this think she's actually standing in front of the goalie perhaps. That's a good win out. Let's see if I think that was Scott that won that ball. Moon looks to put it back in, but goes across the end line for yeah. Peter's goal kick. She sort of, she sort of under hit that corner or, or drove it too low. Didn't uh, didn't really give her uh, teammates a chance to get up and win that ball. I think if uh, Coach Little had that to do over again, he would ask for a higher ball. Oh, oh a little bit of a late whistle there coming from the side. Not the official who was <laughs> five yards away. And this is uh, this is a dangerous position here. Straight on. So you might see something direct on goal here, John. Longwell standing over the ball. She's asked for 10 yards, and the official's marking that off. This is pretty easy, but it's always amazing how sometimes you don't have to actually get 10 yards even on a football field. Yeah. <laughs> the math is, is pretty easy. And yeah, We are 10 yards away here, though. That's a good hit by Longwell. Yep. Oh, just over. Just over top. Tough ball, that ball was dipping down. I did not, uh, probably didn't miss by much. I actually think it went through the uprights and the crossbar there. That yeah, was well struck ball. I think the Peters coaching staff, they were not happy about the call. That would have made the call sting even a little bit more. Absolutely not, that, that was tough. It's a great stick by me. I have no idea what the call is there. On a handball. Handball, okay. Look like just a great tackle with uh, the ball Mia popped up on Longwell. Longwell. Okay. See Raber over on the sideline with a bag of ice on her right foot. So well, that means we may not. That means see she's her. done for we the night. Hoff with a nice ball to Roma. Roma finds Longwell. There's Roma. Gets a shot off, but not much on it there. She's done well collecting the ball there in the in that high forward position for them here in the second half. Uh, she has, John. They've clearly sent her in with specific instructions. There she is again. It's interesting. I, I believe that I saw her play the J in the JV game for Moon. So wow. she has apparently won herself a, a foul there. That's a larger role. Mm, I think Marvin's another stern talking the, to. <laughs> getting the stern talking to. Yeah, it's interesting. You wonder if four years ago if that's a yellow card. I sometimes feel like there's a hesitation to pull a card now with the five minute sit out rule. Yes, yes. It's we, uh, don't, we don't throw as many cards and we pat ourselves on the back that the rule's working to clean up the game. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> right. So, but we're fine with it. It keeps Jillian on the field for us. Got through ball here. Boy, Babel doesn't like to pick those up, and her clearances are a little low. I could come back and get her sometime. Yeah. Uh, ball played through. Emma saw which well off yeah. her line there, sitting. Yeah, and sitting McFerrin again, you know, able to keep pace and stay goal side of uh, Chloe there. They keep looking to play her through, but McFerrin has been more than equal to the task. Yeah, we got a, got a foul. Yeah, the center official gives the advantage call there. Moon doesn't get possession. And we got another dangerous. I mean, we're 20 minutes, a little under 20 minutes here to go. This is a, another dangerous opportunity. Now number 16, uh, Kylie Evans is in for this one. I just assume she's got to be the target given 
She's been the target on all of our corners. I, I would certainly think so. Well, that's a and that's a dangerous ball, ball there. And there's a goal. And there's a goal. I uh, unfortunately think we called that. I think I'm that not sure been. who. I think not that sure was who Evans got on, on that. Was that post. Evans? Yeah, she wasn't the initial target. Once those balls fall and, and take a bounce there, it's, you know, it's trouble with everybody running towards the goal. So it's uh, just under 20 minutes, one-to-one -one game here. Credit Moon, a lot of composure there. I actually thought Peters was playing well. I don't think they were panicked. They were still trying to build the ball up. Just an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate, now again, unfortunate foul. It's those, you know, those set plays, those set pieces. You could be playing very well, but, uh, you know, give up one in a dangerous position, and, and it's a great scoring chance. Now you look at it, Moon barely has had any opportunities on goal. They've really only come on these couple of set pieces. So that's what happens when you get into big games like this. Your opportun opportunities are limited, and exactly you're right. right. And Marvin does a good job of winning a corner. Let's see if. Peters can return the favor and score in a set piece. Like Opperman going to take it. I like the one in the first half where McFerrin took it. I'd rather see that ball kind of swing in The in-swinger. Yeah. Especially when you've got somebody who's been winning everything like Evans has. That's a good tough ball there. Oh. Looked like Stuck got up and won that. but uh, A lot of whistles. A ball. Over, over the goal into the football goal post, I believe. Peters makes an adjustment here and uh, Mia Gentile is moving out to center back. That is Schweiger coming on to. Schweiger in, into the right back position. Um, so Scott went back forward and yeah, Mia, you're right. Mia went into the center back position. What a good win by Stock. Jillian with a great head ball over there. Oh, wow, what a save. Boy, Heisinger ripped the ball. Looked to be close to side panel. And Alasia Babel gets did over there and <laughs> makes a great save. <laughs> she didn't look like a field player there. She did not. <laughs> and there's another chance. CC Scott running in. Yeah. Moon Defender uh, did get a piece to CC there. I Ball was well past her, though. I think that's why we don't have a call on it. The intensity is picking back up here a little bit, as you'd expect in a 1-1 yes game. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The section lead. Good win by CC there. Well done by Schweiger. Marvin with it on the side here. Looks up line. That ball going to stay. Shielded out by Evans, but a good look. By still Martin. not sure the ball's out, but. Might not have been. <laughs> it's still not out. I think Moon stopped it on the line, but it'll be a Moon throw in either way. It's freshman Eva Molnar hitting that ball out for Moon. <laughs> that was. Evans on the ball there again. Roma still in up top, John, for Moon. Coach is clearly liking what she's brought to the game for them. Yeah, there Hoff she is again. finds her. Uh, the uh, ball inside. It's a, a good look by Roma trying to find Longwell running through square. Here's Longwell loading it up. And well handled by Emma Sawich. So a great job of creating some space for herself there, for sure. She did, and she didn't hit it badly, but uh, Sawich was all over that. Moon uncharacteristic uncharacteristically let that punt hit the ground there, John. <laughs> a lot of room in the midfield now. Moon looking to take advantage. It looks like we got our center midfield back intact now with Mia moving into the center back position. So I, Peter's probably thinking we were losing a bit there in the midfield. Got to get the center mid back intact there to. Yeah, bumping Scott back up into the midfield. Well, 
Good win by McFerrin. This ball's going to fall to Moon. Oh, I thought she was going to hit it one time. She didn't. Still gets oh, a cross. It's a off. nice cross there. Finds Longwell, but defended well. Double teamed. Stuck. Played it out to Breyer, but now it's stolen back by Moon. Okay, Roma on the ball. Moon's getting some, Moon has some confidence now after they've gotten that goal here a little bit. They do. They do. They're, they're coming forward aggressively. This could be a corner. I think it's a corner. Okay, Peter's going to have to step up and win this ball. Moon coach calling for freshman Eva Molnar to take the corner kick. Here we go. I'm going to guess Evans is the target again. I hope we have her marked here. Looks like she has some space. Oh, and good a great win. I think win. that was Hannah. Great stuck. win by Hannah. Uh, Moon drives it back in, but uh, Molnar just didn't get that ball past the near post. <laughs> uh, two corners by Moon, both of them were intercepted by the Indians on the near post. Yeah, they're all set pieces. You got to clear the first defender, or they're not dangerous. And exactly, they failed to do it on their one uh, set piece, uh, but the one they scored, they did it. They got it over that first defender, and you saw how dangerous the ball was dropping. They did. So I got some. Good Push battle here, but looked like Chloe got her arms up. Call goes Peter's way. We got 13 minutes to play, and we're still tied here at one. Moon holding their line at the football 25 yard line. One by Longwell, tried to, McFerrin tried to send it back in for Peters. I think you got a Peters throw in. Yeah, Peters is going to have to do something else on his set piece. This moon's just too good in the air. Yeah, they're really not getting much traction on those. Yeah, I think it's Hannah Stuck working on the outside. Okay, and she oh, earns goes. herself a corner kick. Well, I actually call it trip, I think. I think we're going to have a direct kick from... About six yards off the end line, maybe, maybe a little bit further out. Yeah, I think you're just right, John. Just you're right. Great chance to swing this in on goal. Babel yeah. is uh, not tall, so yeah, maybe just, you put one right under the crossbar here and. Yeah, I just drive this at the back post, and if it goes in, you tell everyone it was a shot. If someone heads it in, you tell everyone it was a cross. That's a good plan. <laughs> and there it is. Uh, just a little bit, uh, a little tailed, bit too far from the goal. Yeah, yeah, I think it tailed off a little, little more than Hannah wanted there. Dangerous oh. ball by <laughs> Moon there, <laughs> sure crossing it uh, for Peters. Mm. Mm, Hannah with a moon so confident in the air they just want to play the ball yeah high in the air there's when I even <laughs> even when they're in possession they're gonna yeah. have the ball it was a tough ball for Babel to handle there uh, she handled it well but uh, yeah, no rebound those are those are the kind of balls where you get rebounds sometimes good win good win in the air there again by Moon a good ball by Marvin looking for Briar but cut off by the Moon defender. Oh, good. That's uh, a dangerous ball there. And a little contact there. Solis yeah. does a great job of coming out. I'm, I'm frankly surprised that that was not a call. I think she got a stern talking to by the middle official there very quickly. But he has been dishing out those stern talking <laughs> tos <laughs> like nobody's business this half. Yeah, I think that's our third stern talk. Oh, that's a good oh, throw. Oh, the ball. ball's in behind here. Again, good well. job by Sawich getting out there. Boy, she had, she had to come out for that hard. She's been off her line for four or five balls that probably with most goalkeepers, they're opportunities. And 
Yeah, absolutely. We just right. take it for granted. So absolutely right. Stuck heads it on, Marvin. I think it's off of Marvin there. Well played by yep. the defender there. Marvin almost caught Evans there. Almost was almost able to steal that. At least the track's coming on for for Heisinger. Um, Roma comes off for Moon. I hope she gets a hand for what she's done there in the 30 minutes she's been up top. It's been the difference for them in the second half. No question about it, John. Uh, Moon with some space here in the midfield now. Well, Chloe cuts it back. She's looking to set up that right foot, though. We find Chloe again on the outside. She Boy, she's all over the place. Oh, it's a great move. Looking for Longwell there. Surprised she gave it up. Uh, I don't know that she had to give it up, Chloe. We're fortunate she gave that ball up. Yeah, she had she continued to drive the line there, that might have been uh, even harder to deal with, but a, a really good opportunity there for Moon. John, I think you'd have to say a very even game at this point. Yeah, Moon's been a little bit more dangerous here the last probably 25 minutes. Now they've certainly had to fight back to get a goal, but they have not sat back since they've gotten the goal. They've wasn't uh, just all their energy to get that goal, and now they're going to no, be sure. happy with getting the game tied again. They're absolutely still pushing the attack here, trying to get the trying to get that next goal. But you know, we're eight minutes away here from potentially overtime, but I'm sure we'll both see an opportunity here for both teams here as final eight minutes play out. And I don't think anybody would have been surprised if you would have said before the game that we might be looking at overtime. Double team there by Moon, but Hannah Stuck does well to get out of it. Well, she spun off the defenders there very well going forward. <laughs> Hannah's had a strong game. She is again keeping possession. Gonna throw in again. Yeah, how do you not throw it to her again there? <laughs> oh. First misplay. Uh, I think they called the charge after the header there. That's unfortunate. That was probably the, one of the weaker headers that Moon's had all night. Yeah. When was, yeah. Took advantage of it falling to us, but they get bailed out with a. Pretty soft call, considering what we've seen here I, tonight. I agree. I agree. Ball in the air here. Uh, win by Moon, but the wrong way. Good play by Marvin. Left-footed over to Breyer. Breyer gets it. Serves it Swings in. an early cross. Oh, great play Boy, by the Moon defender there. almost found Macy tracks, but a, as you said, a great play by the Moon defender. Now Longwell's on the ball. Again, I think we're fortunate. Longwell gives that gave that ball up a little bit early there. We were we were dropping, and but again, she couldn't get that ball past Kayla McFerrin. I think Kayla McFerrin and Mia Gentile have won every ball that's gone through here tonight. They, they really <laughs> have. They really have. The Moon has not been able to get anything done along the flanks yeah. there. We'll see how this game ends, but right now they're certainly. My players of the game here, I feel like they have really made a difference in the back there. Although Evans for Moon has had a solid game too, just to <laughs> obviously getting the, the goal and, yeah, and she's been dominant in the air. A ball winning perspective, she's definitely been the factor. Breyer, strong play there. Ball's flicked through Marvin by Scott. Let's see if Marvin takes her to the line here and gets a corner. Well, she looks for tracks instead. Mm. And a goal kick. Mm. 
Well defended there by Moon. We got substitutions coming in. Got Marvin coming out. Looks like Trapanato coming back in. Uh, no, it's Heisinger. Sorry, Sarah Heisinger coming back in. So I think we had a rotation of the forwards here as the, the four girls rotating through the forward line to try to stay fresh here as the game wears. Uh, ball drops. Again, Moon letting a ball drop, but. Chloe gets up and wins that for Moon. Tracks, tracking back. Gentile with the clear, and there's Evans. Uh, maybe a little early there to play the ball. Boy, things have gotten a little, little frantic here. Looks like a tennis match. <laughs> yes, a lot of one-touch uh, volleys here. Yeah, four <laughs> minutes left in the game, so both teams pressing, playing with Urgency. Here's Heisinger behind the defense. Yep. A good clear by Moon. Be a throw in for Peters. And Heisinger un unable to keep that in. Be a Moon throw. Moon with the clear. Flick it on there. Oh, good run by Moon. I'll get a 1v1 over there, and McFerrin cleans it up. Again, another good win by her. Moon's still in possession, though. Ball, we'll shield that out. Oh, well done there. And goal kick for Peters. Moon continues to change their forward line as well, too. I feel like they do. <laughs> they a do. couple players I hadn't seen play yet. There's, There's long, long, long ball. Oh, she She's looking inside. to load up a shot. She's free. She gets in. Oh. Saw which is there. Dangerous, dangerous opportunity there for yeah. Moon. About the last 15 minutes, I forgot she was on the field. And then <laughs> for about 10 seconds, yeah. uh, she reminds you why you have to account for her wherever she is on the field. She beat two or three defenders and Stuck really had a great looking, near post shot. Looking for tracks here. Evans comes out and deals with it, but a throw in for the Indians. Another throw in for the Indians. We're under two minutes here to go in the second half. Well, across. across to CC. Oh, she just heads, heads it, it back, wide. Back towards the near post and wide. Not sure she expected to see that ball come through there, John. That happened pretty quickly. Yeah, she probably had it again. She would have brought it down. She also had some space, too, probably. You just don't expect to have that space. <laughs> no, not, not in, in the box. In the sure. box. Uh, it's always easier said than done to bring that ball down. Huh? Another ball that bounces in the it's midfield here. Offerman wins the first one. That certainly uh, looked like a foul. A jumping in call. Looks like the signal my kids give when they want the truck to blow the horn when they drive by uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the bus stop. But that's jumping in in the WPIL. Another clear by Peters. Ooh. Schwager <laughs> stepping up and hitting that with the left, giving it a go. 40 seconds left, John. One to one tie here. Looking towards an overtime which wouldn't be unfair. No, it seemed like a pretty fair result at this point. <laughs> 20 seconds to go here. We got a Tracks call. bumped and then tried to play it through. Referee calls advantage. 10 seconds left. We'll see if Peters can get something off here. Stuck, sends it in. 
ball bouncing around, and it's going to be cleared there. Yeah. Maybe an anxious moment at the end for Moon. We'll go to overtime. Moon's got a player down. I think uh, <laughs> sacrificed her body there to block the shot. So we'll play uh, we'll play two 10-minute overtimes, although it is golden goal. So if uh, one of the teams scores, the game will end. Team should have uh, about two minutes here to kind of regroup, get a drink, and get back here on the field. All right, we are back here after regulation, a 1-1 tie. Peters Township and Moon Girls Soccer. Uh, battle for first place in the section, John. There seemed to be some confusion by some that we were playing overtime. The stand started empty a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we watched we, the, the we did Moon Camera uh, crew uh, start to head across the field. But we're going to play two 10-minute uh, overtime. Sometimes when you play a non-section game, that's agreed to before the game that maybe you don't play overtime but no choice in a section game you gotta gotta play it you gotta determine a winner but maybe not we'll play maybe 20 minutes more or whoever scores first so we do change sides here um, Peters looks like uh, not really any changes in the lineup looks like what we saw when they came off the field at the end of regulation a couple yeah. changes for Moon, Roma comes back in up top for them. I thought she played well in the first 30 minutes. She was out the latter, last 10 of the second half, but she'll come back in and play in that high target position. And it looks like Chloe and Longwell back in the center mid for uh, Moon. So a little bit of a safe uh, lineup to start the overtime for them. Ball drop back to Longwell. She looks to play the ball down the right side, but it goes out of bounds, so it'll be a Peter's throw. <laughs> Good win by Moon in the air. And did get out of bounds there. So Peter's throw. Kayla McFerrin will do the honors. Good win by Mia Shaver there. Yeah, I kind of agree with Moon there. I think yeah. that did go yeah. off the back of Peters' head, but two officials both called it Peters, so I'm sure hurry up, grab the ball, throw even it in. Out. <laughs> Usually it evens out like immediately, but not yet. Oh, good, good find by Kayla there to Sarah, and Sarah found Hannah. Really some good stuff there by Peters early. Well, the one change of the Peters back line, Maddie Schweiger seems to be getting forward from that outside back position, although Moon's now immediately going after that space that she vacated to get forward. We'll cut back, ball in, and Sawich grabs that one. Only problem when your outside back gets forward on the attack, I thought Schweiger made a good run to get in, but then you know, she's got a long, long no way to go to get back. No question, you gotta be ready to deal with that. Yeah, she didn't. Uh, she didn't get help from one of her midfielders to cover for her there. There's long oh, well, a lot of loads of space here, John. Yeah, that's finds Chloe up top. She has space. Oh, she goes right into and the defender. Good double Perry. team there by <laughs> Peters. Perry. McFerrin with a good step, but Moon's got a lot of space here in the middle all of a sudden. Good, good play by Mia Gentile to bump her off the ball. Keeps possession, good coverage by Mia. Oh, well defended there. The nutmeg doesn't count if you don't run through and get it on the <laughs> other side, John. And you gotta complete the move. Peters back down the right side. Isinger and the Moon defender. Uh, Looks like it's gonna be a throw in, and it is. Schwager stepping up to take that throw. Marvin here, just get a corner. Well done. And she does. Jillian's gotten the Indian several corner kicks today. Three, three or four at least, John. Let's see if they can capitalize. I don't see if anything changes here. I mean, we've 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 hit that kind of penalty kick mark or six yard box on most of ours and Evans has cleared them all. Let's see if we can clear her there. Yeah, Chloe knocks and it right back where it came from. Looks like we'll get another chance at it. 
Good touch by the official to save the ball. That ball was served a little short, and Chloe was able to clear that one. Here we are back in that space. On the ball. I think Peters and did get on that ball there, just uh, headed straight up. So Moon looking to counter. Oh, almost tracked down. Thought she had it. I think that's Marvin if my eyes aren't failing me. Very close. Moon was still pushing out as she was going in. She'd have caught on to that. Could have had a chan good chance there on the cross. Who's back in possession? Mm. Tough ball to handle there. Ball goes out of bounds. Another moon throw. Just under the six minute mark here in the first overtime. Neither team with a great chance here yet in overtime. I don't know what the high school record is for throw-ins, but I'd like to think we uh, could be we're getting, approaching it there. We're getting close. Tonight. We're getting close. <laughs> Tracks crosses the ball over there. Scott tries to step over and tries to beat the moon defender. Wins a throw. Moon just going to safely get it out. Roma runs through that. No call. Could have been a call there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Moon's in. Roma's, Roma's in. Oh, in. Oh, wide. fresh touch. Oh. Boy, dangerous shot slash cross there by Roma, but her first yeah. touch did her no favors, John. No, it took her away from the goal. I think we're actually very fortunate. Emma saw which did not get a hand on that because Moon had a player coming to the back post. If anything had slowed that ball down, we could have been in trouble. So That's fortunately it was wide, and she knew it was wide and kept her hands off it. So Best chance of the night, uh, or best chance of the overtime for either team, I should say. Yeah. And Moon trying to press forward now. Yeah, Long well ridden out of bounds. I'll start with a good physical challenge here by Moon in the air. It did. Roma ran through that ball. Uh, got a holding. I think that's a 15, 10-yard penalty. That was uh, <laughs> the proper signal for any <laughs> NFL referee. Yeah, Coach Vero can throw the challenge flag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it up to Booth review there. But it'll be a uh, moon set piece from about the 50 here. Good win by uh, Good win by Hannah. Interesting yeah. trivia, John. Uh, Coach Verab has won as many challenges as Mike Tomlin this year. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> Mia Gentile. Well, he's so definitely won more games this. than my Coach Tomlin thus far in the season. <laughs> no I, question about that. I mean, he's got what six? He, well, he, he might be more than Coach he, Tomlin. He might be able to years. stop now and <laughs> win good. that one. Might be a tough year for the black and gold. Gentile does a good job of coming forward and winning that. Marvin trying to nick it forward there. And Peter's looking to press. Yeah, I know as a, a player, sometimes you respond to the crowd. You know, the crowd gets excited, and sometimes you play quicker, and you play quicker than you should. You do. <laughs> I think you it was a moment there where the crowd got a little excited, and we played the ball quicker than we yes, should have. Yes, you could, you could feel that energy from the crowd. Sometimes, <laughs> right. You serve sometimes the ball too early. You take your, the shot too early. Yeah, affects your decision-making. Loose ball. Not dangerous She's there. Good, uh, uh, good pressure by tracks. Tracks. Yeah, pressuring Chloe with the long last name there. And stuck in Longwell, getting tangled there. I think the Moon Moon fans had this one wrong, John. I didn't see a foul. <laughs> uh, 
A little arm extension by both players after. Uh, th this one's probably a legitimate, just stern talking to. I don't think either player deserved. Uh, no, he did the moment. He did the moment. I'd probably talk to them both and get back <laughs> to the game. Evans with another <laughs> win. Uh, just been, she's been incredible in the back, winning balls out of the air. She really has. She really has. Babel collects it. About Just one minute here to punt go it in the forward. Overtime. Long one nods it on. Here's Roma. Roma again. G she gets into those tackles too, John. It's a great turn by Trax. And finds Heisinger. Like the idea by Heisinger. We're we're under a minute to play here. Roma again, looking for Chloe and Mia with the safe play there. Safe play. 40 seconds left. Coach Verb calling for the double team. Moon keeping possession here and ball over top. And That's, saw uh, what should handle this. 20, 20 seconds here. 20 seconds left in the first overtime. Longwell gets on that, but right to Offerman. 10, Ten five, seconds to go here. Three, I think we're going to see a second seven, overtime here. Six, five, and we six, are. Three, two, one. Okay, John, I, I think we'd have to say Moon had the best opportunities there in that uh, first overtime. A little bit of a up and down action. But uh, yeah, Moon certainly seemed to have some space in the midfield too that Peters didn't have uh, really in possession. We're still really looking to find that ball over top and, and wide or kind of draw a corner kick to create something. Uh, both Longwell and, and Chloe Kumakowski uh, have had a lot of space in the, in the middle here. So, but you know, we've, we've bent a little bit in the back, but we haven't, we haven't broken, but no, I think the the Indians have defended well. You know, but for one loose ball on a on a set piece there, um, they'd have a clean sheet. We'll yeah. see if Peters can sort of find their way back to uh, the chances that they got when they scored their goal and almost went up two to zero, getting in behind the Moon defense. They they've been unable to do that since that little flurry. Yeah, they've played with a and uh, played with a different back line here most of the second half with Rachel Raber out. Doesn't look like she's going to be coming back into the game. Hopefully, that's just a temporary setback for her. But Mia Gentile has done well stepping into the middle. She has, and I'm, I'm trying to recall last year with uh, with some injuries. I believe Mia moved into the middle uh, at maybe at various times during the season, but. I, I seem to remember her playing the center back uh, in the playoffs when the Indians went on their playoff run. Yeah, injuries are part of the game. They're, you have to have people used to playing in different positions. It's a long, grueling season between practicing three days a week, playing maybe three, sometimes four games in a week. It's you know, inevitable someone's going to get banged up. So this is... Uh, this will be good in the future. At some point, I'm sure Mia will have to step back into the center back position for them. So nothing like it uh, in an important game like this to play under yeah. some pressure as no, well. No question. It is, a, it is a grind playing this many games in such a short time. Yeah, the, both benches have gotten particularly shorter here as the game has gone on. I think Peters is really just rotating a couple of players into some forward positions. Um, Moon, likewise, uh, pretty much rolling with the same 11 here uh, most of the second half. And don't blame them. It's worked. I mean, <laughs> the opportunities they've had in the second half and overtime have been significantly more and, and more quality opportunities than they had in the first half. So they found that right mix. You mentioned early in the second half. They kept moving people around. Uh, <laughs> I think they they found it with about uh, 20 minutes to go in the second half. Yeah, they did. They they uh, finally, finally found the – 
combination that worked. Indians will kick off this final 10 minute period here, heading towards McMurray Road. Back to Stuck and she's looking for Marvin. <laughs> Moon wins the first ball, but Peters wins the second ball. Another ball in the air. Longwell brings it down and, uh, oh no, that's uh, not Longwell that's there. Lizzie Hoff. Flipped on my sides, because we've changed sides here. <laughs> Schweiger did a good job of knocking that out of bounds. Ball knocked forward. Oh, good settle by Moon. And for that diagonal cut run, though. this player was not ready for that. Good battle there. Hannah winning it from Chloe. Moon gets possession here. Here's some less space in the middle that Moon seems to have that we've not been able to have. They do. They do. They're they're taking good advantage of it. <coughs> here we go. Space in the middle here. It's Longwell. She turns. Offerman tracking Longwell. Longwell cuts it back, looking for a left foot. Mm. Mm. Found Ava Molnar there. Molnar was able to step through a tackle and get a get a shot off, but it was handled easily by Emma Sawich. Whistle's kind of put away a little bit. I think that's a call earlier in the game I there. I think you're over right. The back. I think you're right. It's like the NHL here. There's no calls that's in <laughs> overtime. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to decide the game with the whistle, I guess. All right. well, Marvin Sarah's. running forward. Sarah is through. Heisinger is through. Oh, the keeper's out. Oh, the ball goes loose, but Olke cleans it up. Hmm. Good ball in behind. Not sure yeah. what the issue is down there, John, but uh, Coach <laughs> Little is, is upset. I think he's upset with his back line of – I think he thinks that some liberties were taken with his players, and I I don't uh, know that I did not what see. the issue would be. I'm sure Babel had a collision there, but uh, that was a 50-50 ball, if anything. Certainly no, uh, certainly no foul in my view. Yeah, she was outside the box. Usually you get. Treated as a field player once you're a keeper outside of the box. Absolutely. Trax tries to find a ball through. Another throw in here. Trax lays it off. Ooh, Moon looked like they were waiting for that one. Looking to pounce on that. And the moon side not <laughs> happy with that call. <laughs> that would be an understatement. <laughs> Another throw in here for Peters. Looks like a couple subs. Briar and Trapanato, I believe. For the Indians. Ball cleared by Moon. Good step by, uh, I guess, Barrasco there, who stepped to win that ball. And she's fouled after the play. No call, though. They are definitely letting him play. <laughs> yeah, uh, ball, oh, ball through. played forward. That's a dangerous ball. Yeah, Saw which handles it. And Gentile mm -hmm. was in good position there to sort of shepherd it to her. I don't think Moon players were ready for that. That's not really how they've played most of the game. They've played into the high target, so that player wasn't running when that ball was played. Here's a tough ball here. Looks like it's certainly covered by McFerrin there for a uh, yeah. goal kick for they Peters. Keep, they keep trying to play those diagonal balls in behind, be behind Kayla, and they really haven't had any success doing it. We're five minutes away here from a, a tie. We'll see if someone can get that. Game-winning goal here. Uh, Colin 
Malkowski with the left. Just yeah. didn't get her foot around it there. Sawich watched it go out of bounds easily. You can hear the respect for the Peters coaching staff every time uh, Longwell or Kumakowski touch the ball. It's uh, double, double. So not a whole lot of time for them to adjust, but it probably means somebody else is going to be available <laughs> for the ball. Exactly. Find Kumakowski again here. Well, she can keep her out there as far as oh, she wants. That is not a nice dance. hesitation yeah. move there by Kulinkowski. Kumankowski, I should, I should say. She's really able to find just enough space to get her shots off, isn't yeah. she, John? Uh, Call goes Peters. against <laughs> the Tigers there. <laughs> Look like uh, first a foul on against Moon, but we, Moon gets caught for the infraction, so... Got a high line here again by Moon. The Moon goalie's not far out. That's I still feel like this Gentile. is going to be. Oh, I believe. I'm not even sure why. I don't I have even to have look. to see the number. <laughs> That's Evans winning that ball. Yeah. Briar and Trapanato off. Tracks and Marvin back on for the Indians. So quick. a quick run for those two. Yeah. If I'm Peters, I'm throwing this ball right to the corner and tell Marvin to go get us a corner. Not sure what the call is. Premature there. throw. Yeah. Well, throw it to the corner flag now. Second chance. Well, that gets her inside. Well, Hannah's like able yeah. to shield the uh, Evans off there. Can she get a left on it? Just too many Tigers to contend with. Oh, ball's bouncing around. Good step by McFerrin. Can she get a cross in? Oh, just. Just didn't get enough on it there. A good battle by Marvin trying to win that back. Not sure if that was a foul, John. Yeah, I didn't see a foul there. If anything, I thought it was going against Moon. I thought they had clipped Marvin as she was getting away from the play. But oh, Another ball over top there. Close to McFerrin. Oh. Well, you can see a little bit of panic setting in on both teams. Yeah, and two, two <laughs> ten minutes, minutes ago, left. Moon was trying to possess that ball. Mm. On every call, you've got somebody who's very <laughs> upset and somebody who's very happy. Right. Oh, and here we and go. we're going to stop the clock. And a yellow card for Moon assistant coach T.J. O'Brien. I think it was yellow, John. Well, he's still standing there. If it's a red, he should have to leave the bench. Moon has been upset the last three minutes about calls, so. Good ball on tracks has a good first touch. Wins it. She's around the corner. Dangerous ball into the yeah. near post. But if you told me the moon keeper it. was a field player, I would not have guessed that. She's been very solid here this well, evening. She's had a lot of practice. A minute 30 here to go. Ball That's off. a danger. Oh, the ball, ball almost found its way through. And Marvin, I think, would have been off to the races. Plays it forward, just no one there. Oh, the ball gets well, over Evans. Evans. That hit. <laughs> Good turn by Stuck. Great turn. Finds Marvin. Uh, ball just gets away just from her. Away. We got one minute to play here. Peters pressing here, pressing. Ball girls called into action. Ball girls can never get the ball in quick enough when you're in a game like this. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> Schweiger throws it to Stuck in the middle. Moon getting everybody behind the ball here. 
stuck, turns. She gonna get She's got one girl course. beat, now another. And oh, that's, that's a, a throw. throw. That's a throw. 25 seconds left. See if Peters gets everybody forward here. Marvin looking for it. This appears we're going to end it. in a tie. So we're going to land up uh, two teams tied atop of the section here, probably at the midway point here. We both have final games here until we start to play everyone for a second time. I think uh, well Peter still has, I think, Baldwin and Canamax, so I take that back. They still have two games uh, before we get to the halfway point. Yeah. But quite a battle, John. Quite a battle, and uh, you know, I'd say a one-to-one -one result here is not not an unjust one. Yeah, I think Moon and St. Clair still have each other, so you figure someone's going to either tie or lose that game. So that's right. That's right. So uh, not a know. bad result here for Lady Indians to take a tie and a win, if you think about it, for the first two games against uh, Upper St. Clair and Moon, still sitting in a very good position. That's so that's right. That's right. Uh, the girls are back here on Wednesday night, a section game against uh, Baldwin. Unfortunately, I think this airs, our telecast here airs two weeks later, so you'll <laughs> miss that Baldwin game. So catch it a few days later uh, on TV to uh, root for the Lady Indians, but uh, come out and support them here on a, a game. You can find their schedule on the uh, school website. So, Al, thanks for uh, doing the game here tonight. It was Thank a you, pleasure. Thank you, John. Enjoyed it as always. And good night to everyone out there. Good night, all.